swim straight to the shore. And welcome Stay everyone. And look for others who can help you. You're not the first exiles, and you won't be the last. Welcome back, welcome back everyone. To Path of Exile. And Mr. Shadow. Don't forget to read about the little lore there. I can't wait to have, especially this part, voiced. At least I hope it's going to be voiced here also, because that just sounds glorious. Just so glorious. Attention prisoners. That does little lore against... I mean, look at all that. He looks like a fucked up surgeon. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> uh, but I had a lot of fun playing with him. I, I really like how it starts out in the in the passive forest also. Yes, forest, damn it. It's far from a tree now. God damn it. <laughs> and also that as you'll see here, as soon as you kick him down, you get a gem. Very nice, very nice. And I have started doing voiceovers on Path of Exile now completely because at the moment I can't record voice and game sound at the same time. It just won't work. Every other game works, but not Path of Exile. I have no idea what's happened. And I haven't done anything either. The only thing I've done is patched up the game and at one point it just disappeared. But who cares? Let's move on. And also, good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> or, well, maybe it's not morning for you, but it's morning for me. God, I, I love that you can also zoom in now, as you saw earlier there. You can check around on your character a bit. Sneaky, sneaky. Really nice of them of giving you a skill right away so you have at least something more to do. It, it feels a lot more fun than going around poke, poke, poke. Oh, this is so slow. Hmm. I wonder, that, that little... It was kind of like a little wave that went from the monster. Was that the effect for crits? Or ha have they implemented any effect for crits? Or am I just imagining stuff now? I mean, I, I did wake up not too long ago, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> ah, driftwood, driftwood. We meet again. You know, that rock in the water there. Wouldn't it be cool if that was kind of. if it was like a huge turtle that just woke up and ate you? Now wouldn't you be surprised, eh? Running over the water. I'm just gonna get this chest. Oh, what the? <laughs> ah, yes. Get on that, Chris. Implement turtles. Huge turtle bosses. <laughs> and thank you for making the spitters, like, clump together a bit. So I don't need to run all over. Or at least they search around for new friends. Get him! Oh. Mm -hmm. Is it just me, or are the lightning effects a lot more frequent now? Yes, good things to know, people. Hit the goddamn stick, you idiot. Why, thank you. Isn't it fun sitting here? Just flaming myself? That's normal. <laughs> you know, it, it would be kinda cool if when you walk up to the zombies, they won't always just straight away just slowly 
rise up. Sometimes you won't be able to hit them or they won't move and then when you get just next to them they will just throw themselves up at you. Jump scares. And do a scream of Arr! or something along those lines. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be a voice actor in any way. <laughs> Shape or form. <laughs> I like the little forge here, but I wouldn't mind having something more in them. I don't know, it, it feels like... Aren't they defending something with the fort thingies? Mr. Hillock, we meet again. Here he comes. Choppy. Get him. Damn. Yeah, oh. Dodge, damn it. Duck. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. You know, right, if you could implement a dodge mechanic in a game, kinda like Terra or Guild Wars 2. Where you can just double tap your button and dodge away, or like in Terra, when you do an attack and then you get up a dodge cue that you have the option to do a dodge now. That would be kind of nice. A hack and slash like this with dodge mechanics. Sweet. Well, that's what I call an action RPG. Oh, pardon me, people. God damn it. <laughs> oh, where's start waking up now? Damn it. Cornflakes, people. Everybody needs cornflakes in the morning. Yep. Loot. Here, take all my metal, wood, and stuff. What do I get? Oh, you get free papers. <laughs> Worth trade? No. <laughs> la -da -dee, la -da -da. Nope, you cannot use that many things at the moment. You're low level, you need to get at least. Say level 5 and level 9 or 10, you schmuck. La da dee, la da da. Here we go. <laughs> so many rocks, so many rocks. I wonder how much attack speed you could get on... Um, what's the skill called now again? The skill that I have first down there, on the left, on my... Um, left, on my right mouse button. Mm. Ah, you know what I mean anyway. How fast you can get the attack speed on that. Get it. Look. Go. Wait, was it called a faux bard? Who <laughs> was a faux faux bard? A faux. Spinny, spinny. Don't be confused. A faux bard. A faux bard. A faux bard. I guess it was a faux bard. It can't be a faux bard, can it? And these traps are glorious, by the way. Jesus Christ, they are fun. Also, that it's not like 
the usual traps that you just throw down where you're standing, you can actually throw them, so they're kind of like grenades in a sense. <laughs> Orb of alchemy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lucky. <laughs> and then you just need to wait for me to waste it on something completely useless because why? I just don't care. <laughs> I just want something better for the moment. I love the sound when it blows up. Also, the animation is really sweet on it. The the explosion of the fire there. If this was Diablo 2, I could swear that a meteor just fell down. I could swear on it. Also a question people, is the trap, I mean, does it count as a spell? Or? And if I increase elemental damage, it will increase the fire damage? Well, obviously increasing elemental and fire damage increases the fire damage, I hope, at least. But I'm still wondering, I mean, it must count as a trap. Also people, if you haven't noticed, the AI on the enemies are a lot more interesting, I must say. The, the scavengers can stop and just throw rocks at you until you get closer or run away, and then it will charge you. Spitters, as I say, said they punch up a lot more now. They search their friends. Punch up. Punch up. Oh, here comes the idiot. Eat my traps. <laughs> I love that I can just run around here and throw traps at her, or uh, him, or it. That thing over there. Also, people, it, just look at her animation. When you see her loading up the spell, it shoots. Loading up the spell, it shoots. So you can just easily avoid it if you care about it. Or if you just want to act like, oh my god, I'm so pro. Dodging everything. Oh. Oh, and Goofy, watch closely. I think they've even improved the seagulls, so you might like the game now. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend, and the only complaint he has about the game is the goddamn seagulls. They're not realistic. <laughs> he was raging over this like a madman. <laughs> so that's why he's not liking Path of Excel, the goddamn seagulls. <laughs> I left so hard. But okay, okay, it's his opinion. He doesn't like the seagulls, okay. Yep. Bye bye, tiny spitters, bye bye. Now, how about you go and find the goddamn medicine kit, you goddamn idiot? Run, damn it. Hmm. I haven't checked, but is there anywhere in the passive forest where you can get more trap charges? Or anything that does that you don't lose your charged up trap charges when you go through areas? Or maybe that is just something that will be uh, will be fixed, like with uh, summons and minions later on. Fuck. 
And that's where you realize, no, I can't throw the trap because it's been set. <laughs> Damn it! Chop, chop. Oh, the beach, running on the beach. Things can do. Suck it. Also nice that they're starting adding elementals like that on well, the corresponding area. Oh, god damn. That bastard. Don't take him lightly, people. Since he does a lot of cold damage, then you basically have no cold resistance at the start. You can easily just go straight to hell. Yeah, <laughs> dodge. What the? Was he standing there clapping? Also, if any one of you might be wondering why I have Nova, it's just because when I throw out the traps, I want to be able to slow them down a bit so they walk longer in the trap's fire. I'm not too interested in spamming the Nova and just AVing like that. I want to use the traps, they're more fun. Uh, I feel like I'm interacting more with the game, the, it's just more fun than just pressing one button something happens. Here I can actually think a bit, where can I throw this at the moment to benefit me the most? Or I can just throw them all over, just to be safe. Hmm. Which brings me to another thing I didn't think about checking. If I throw out three traps, if I throw out a fourth trap, will the first trap I threw out explode? Or just disappear? Since you're only allowed to have three traps. So you cannot spam up traps everywhere. Hmm. Also, incidentally, think when you're playing against multiple people that has traps in PvP. Now isn't that going to be annoying? Yes, come here. Just come. Yes, yes. Move into the minefield. Boom, 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 boom. The fuck? I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a trap just before I ended also. Um, I think it was called a bear trap. That stunned people right on the spot. Yep, that's right. Damn fool. Level 4! Yet! Can I use double fire traps? <laughs> Yep, there's only one option there, you idiot. Get it. Yep, just take it. Come on, this year. Uh, less thinking, more doing. God, I'm so slow. Finally. I actually didn't think about that text there, clear that area. Because I, <clears throat> I always go in in that area either way. And I love that they're finally being able to add in more effects like that so they can come up through the ground. That looked really nice. Although, the only thing I'm wondering about it, it, maybe if it would leave some kind of mark on the ground or. Is the ground here in the mud flats just... Well, the mud just flows together instantly, more or less. I don't know. And thank you for making them short again. 
I have so missed that. Well, this is going fine. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, god damn it. 50 HP left. No. Plus one, there's many of them. God damn it. I am stunned. Can you please stop this crap? Especially on, uh, on the other difficulties. Then you start to panic a bit. I cannot move. I cannot attack. I'm getting stunned up here. Help! <laughs> Birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Chop, chop, chop. I'm trying to think if anything else in the scenery here has been changed. Like if there's more vegetation or... Th there's no effects when you move through water still, right? So... Speaking of water, I wonder if they are like going to add in so you can see the the water current going in different directions so that all the water in the game is always flowing one way splintered tower sheet doesn't really sound too safe oh oh I'm still wondering a bit how I am going to spec him. Because, as, as you'll see later, there's from the shadow starting era there are just so many options oh and i love when i walked in here i just froze when i got in and what wait what now yeah exactly damn this looks awesome looks really creepy and those roa carcasses look so nice ah! <laughs> it's hard, damn it. Ah, he's fast, also. Get him. I do love that leveling up of the gems on the side there. Very smooth and nice. Although. One thing, with the minimap up there, it's really lovely, it's great, really like it, but just one thing. If you look at the mana, HP bar, bottle bar, experience bar, skill bar, everything here, it has a really nice aesthetic UI. If you could just put some kind of nice frame or something around it there in the corner, I wouldn't even mind if you did something more elaborate with the corners and stuff, holding it up or well, something. <coughs> or maybe if you if you put it connected to a hotkey and when you press it, kind of like a, a sign comes down from some change chains or something with the minimap. Yeah. Just something. It feels a bit... Well, well... Obviously, it feels a bit beta over it, but... But still, I I'm just saying. Hoping for the future, at least, that there's going to be just something more there. Because everything else looks just so nice, and that... Just... Nah. <laughs> 
But hey, what do I know? Maybe maybe I'm just a picky one here and no one else actually cares about it. Ah, the necromancer. This is the first time I'm seeing a necromancer in the game. Uh, I've heard they are in the prison also, I think someone mentioned for me. Come on! Freeze them, damn it! Try to destroy the corpses! I wouldn't have a look at him. I love the sound he made. It's kinda like one of those Kalima priests. Even zoomed in. <laughs> yes, I was kind of surprised there. <laughs> I was expecting something. Well, this looks glorious on long distance. When you zoom in, it looks like crap. But no. <laughs> I'll be. Point goes to the devs again. Woo! Dex, life region, evasion. Yes! Take it. So much better also. Hmm. <laughs> and now that you can zoom in, we have to show some things how it looks. La -da -da, la -da -da. Now, I had honestly not, well, still not noticed that. I should do another quest here. Because I still thought that, oh, okay, they just add the, the necromancer here. Since I missed the quest sign before, since it hasn't been there before. Or I was just in my own thoughts on something else. Something, something. It traps! Oh. And then I have nothing. And even though I said I am not going to spam Nova, sometimes you, I mean, you, you see what skills I'm using all the time. But if I have a couple of skills, I can mix it around a bit now and then to get some variation. But I don't know about you, but using one main attack and one secondary attack constantly it just makes me want to shut off the game very fast because it just gets so boring all right and now it's time to rage people oh, look here here's a belt and uh, let's see where is it mm -hmm. all right over of alchemy yep yep it's normal well done fire no people screams you idiot why well, because it's better, right? Y you can't argue with that. <laughs> the rare one is better than the normal one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rage. Rage. That's what the zombies are saying. Hello. You see there how I line of sighted that other one that's behind the trunk there? He can't see me, so it's not bothering with me. I'm pretty sure I would have died there if I didn't do that. <laughs> he was doing quite a lot of damage. You see here now, people. That is correct. I only have one zombie still, but since my skill gem leveled up now, these two zombies are not the same. Ergo, I can have more than one. Or I can have one extra. At whatever time it happens that you level up your minion gem, you can use it. You will still have your old zombie up if you don't 
Oh, we use it to summon completely new ones. That is to say, you can't summon another one. And just before here, I noticed a little timer there. Also, it felt a bit nostalgic because in in one way it felt like I was just out on the oh damn it, what's it called now? Yeah, Diablo 2, bloody god damn it, the first area. Oh my god, I can't remember it anymore. Surprised. Well, either way, it felt like I was just out on the first area and I went in in the den of evil. The only thing missing in there was some kind of effect happening when. Huh. Actually, you you know in there, with that green fog all over, when you if. If you kill the necromancer, all the fog would just lift and it would be as bright as it was before. Huh. That would be kind of nice. I mean, you would get some kind of visual impact that... Well, you have just cleared the necromancer and it's his fog in the entire area there that's making so every, every dead or undead thing is working because it's his area of effect spell that works on 40 by 40 screens or something <laughs> I I don't know maybe I'm just spacing out what do I need? take the glyph click the glyph yes and remember people we went and got the seashells that the robot ate up. They then transformed them into glyphs by hatching them out in magical eggs. We broke the eggs to get magical glyphs that are in fact seashells to use it here on the wall to make the water go down so the squids can get out. Because before it was flooded the squids couldn't get out. And that's why the raw bird ate the seashells to make them into glyphs to be able to stop the squids from getting out by flooding the squids. Logic, eh? <laughs> that makes completely sense, doesn't it? <laughs> the lore of the raw bird. We have a plan! <laughs> we will flood the squids! And they won't get out! Genius, Chief! Genius! Of course. Oh, I was running around down here for so long now. Because usually the way down to the Spitter King, as I call him, Dweller of the Depths, is usually always at the same area, but no. It, it wasn't now. So I ran around everywhere, finding everything else, but not that that I should find. Uh -huh. But still, I like the music. Or ambient sounds. I don't know, do you call this music or ambient sounds or... I'm not quite sure. Can you hear any instruments? Uh, I heard a bird there. <laughs> or a pipe. Hmm. Yeah, either way, the music, ambient, background, sound thingy is really nice. I like that it's calm first and then ramps up a bit like this. Gives you a sense of urgency that I should probably get out here because stuff is coming to kill me. How did I 
think about it, it does remind me a bit of um, uh, Diablo 1 on... I think on the later areas, or maybe it was the, exp the Hellfire expansion pack. Some area when you went down a couple of levels. Maybe, maybe. It's a big shame they ran off there instead of stacking their auras. Then again, he did go back to give the aura to all the squids and then charge. I guess that works also. He had a plan. Now don't you just love these people, you check around and oh okay it probably continues there and you go up and no, it doesn't. I've just ran around the whole place and it's a dead end. Ah. <laughs> I want teleport. <laughs> I miss teleport. <laughs> oh life was so easy then. Oh, I just got teleport. Where's the exit? Oh, don't, don't worry people, I'll find it. Zoom 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 five seconds later zoom 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 I found it <laughs> Oh god damn it That so destroyed the game in a sense because you you never really looked through all the areas Well except if you was like me and just wanted to clear all of it just be sure that you got everything But for everyone else they just skipped so much content, just teleporting to the exit and just keep keep on going. Completely just bring it. Keep on going to the next area. Uh, whatever, we'll just move on, who cares. And then always when they watch me, oh cool, where's this? I've never seen it before. But haven't you completed the game mode one? Yeah, but I always teleport through it all to the bosses. <laughs> then again, you can't expect everyone to, for instance, like me, look here now and look the rock formations in the middle there. There, there's really some thought behind that in making them. And if you look at all the stones around you right now and how it looks, I mean, I, I can just sit silently and look at the sceneries, how they are done and. How is the shadow work done and all that? There's just so many things to love about games really because if you start thinking about it, how much effort do you think a person put down to fix all this? I mean, sure, I wouldn't be surprised if in some, well, at least to some extent, if you think like, if you, if you, well, you, you can take any map editor, for instance, just if you, if, even if you go way back to, say, Red Alert when it came out, I'm pretty sure it's to some extent the same with games now that you have the same things, but now you can rotate them and construct the level with all the pieces as you like because constantly remaking the same pieces. I mean, if you would truly custom make every single, like, well, every single meter in the game, every single feet in the game, do you know the time that would be put on that? I mean, the game would probably look great, but I mean, damn. <laughs> The time and effort. Take the orb, damn it! Oh, you're such an idiot. What did what did I name the shack again? Dishu? Dirko? Dishu? I think Dishu. Dishko. Dishko? Dishka? Dishko? How do I come up with this shit? <laughs> uh at least with Demokatai, Shakatai and Krinkelmeister and stuff like that. That feels a bit easier to remember. No, damn it! Shut up! Well, for me at least. Wait, who am I talking to? I'm going insane here. Mm. 
Ah, old gamers are a bit schizophrenic. Freaky. Schizo schizofreaky? <laughs> Is there something that's called schizofreaky? Someone looked it up on Wiki or Google. <laughs> Get back to me. <laughs> ah. And I finally found the hole down to the Spiffy King. La -da -dee, la -da -da. Dude, I have a really hard time thinking that I'm going to die with all these traps and things. I mean, at the moment I don't have that much dodge and stuff, but... I mean, on the skills later, on the tree later, you'll... You, you, you'll see what I mean. There, there's a lot. Congratulations. Drishko. No, Drishko. Ah, right, Drishko. That made more sense. Shut up, it makes more sense than Drishko. Drishko actually has some kind of coherence in the, work, in the name. Drish ku instead of Drish ku. It just sounds like you put your fang in the mixer and just pressed start. Oh, and someone told me that there's remote mines in the game now. What the hell, remote mines? That's just. That's just crazy. By the way, the stuff hanging in the roof, is that spiderweb? I just started thinking about it now. Is that spiderweb? Or, or what is it? Is it seaweed? Uh, see that. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh god. Okay, think about this for a minute now, Michael. If a place is completely flooded with water, how much spiderweb do you think it is there? And how much seaweed do you think it is? Um... God damn it, you're an idiot. Shut up. Get him. Chop it. Is he actually hitting me? I think my tiny energy shield actually absorbed everything. Hello? Now then, time to get up to town. A dirty jump. La la dee, la la. La la dee, la la. Now then, let's hand in this. the bear trap. Screw bear traps. But there was also those knife thingies. The what was it, eternal fan? Oh yeah, it's those. I like that. Once more reference to Diablo. It makes me think of a bone teeth that you shot up that had a lot of projectiles. But I, I want to have those uh, those knives on the next time, uh, if it's possible for me to get it. So far, I must say that this really feels like the most interesting character. Also, lore-wise. find out more about the fucked up surgeon. <laughs> yes, fucked up surgeon. I mean, look look at him on the creation screen and look how he how he looks there. With all his tiny scalpels and tools and shit. Ugh. Breaking some eggs to get some magical seashells that's been converted into glyphs. Logic. I'm going with that story, damn it! The robots have a plan. 
No, I mean, look at this. Look at all the options from starting from the shadow there. You have so many things. You have projectile, you have one hand damage, you have elemental damages. You have more casting speed, I mean... <laughs> glorious options! There's just so many things to pick from. And I have no idea what to go for, but I really enjoy the traps. But I also want to increase my dual wielding, so I'm guessing I'm just going to... ...have to take everything, more or less, here at the start. <laughs> I mean, there's two dual wheel damage, one hand damage, this... Oh. And... Also... I mean, added projectile damage with the knives that you are going to be throwing, so... Yeah, I mean, everything here increases all the things you get at the moment, so... And at the same time, it feels like whatever you spec, you won't have spec wrong. Because you have things that will benefit from it. So, even though I get the feeling that it's a bit more thinking at least with working with the traps and all that setting up and thinking a little bit ahead. It still feels like the easiest starting area because it feels like you, you you can't really screw up even though you pick something that maybe was a bit less good for the type of character you're making with the shadow you will still benefit in some way I mean, if you at least pick one trap, you will benefit from the spell thingies, and if you've at least picked one of the things with one hand dual wield or projectiles, you will benefit there also, so, yeah. It's a good and easy way to start, and from playing the other characters, at least in my opinion, the starting areas on the other characters is a bit more thinking right from the start of how you want to do. Here you can basically just go in the, well, the cube area here, just at the start, and just go for it. So it's a lot, it's a lot user friendly, right off the bat I would say, in my opinion at least. Well, I'm looking forward to when I can continue this, because this is really interesting. And I'm looking forward to see what other things people have come up with. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other things people have come up with. So, until next time people, until next time, this has been Michael at the Swiss Tavern, signing off.